hi guys so today i will show you how to replace the keyboard of your laptop so before we begin please like the video and subscribe the channel for more videos like this so let's continue now i will be removing the back panel of my laptop Now I will be removing the battery of this laptop because it is very important to make sure that there is no power running through the motherboard so that we don't cause any short circuit while doing any repair work so it's best to remove the battery before doing starting any work. So once the battery is removed, now we are free to do anything like we have to remove all the parts as much as possible to, so that we can get access to the keyboard. So first I will be removing the uh, speaker and uh, after that I will be removing the uh, CPU cooler fan and uh, I will try to remove the heatsink but uh, the screws of the heatsink were very tight so I left it just like that so that we don't want to fix something that is not broken so after that you will be getting the access to the motherboard there are several screws on the motherboard make sure to remove all the screws otherwise you might bend or break your motherboard while removing the motherboard so make sure that you take all the screws that are holding down the motherboard before trying to pry the motherboard out of the shell <laughs> So after removing the motherboard, now we will be having access to the keyboard. So before we start removing the keyboard, you should separate the keyboard housing from the display. So once you separate the display, keep it aside. Now let's start with the process of removing the keyboard from the housing. So now I will be start to remove the plastic layers from back of the keyboard as you can see. Don't just throw off those plastic layers because they might be used for insulation so it's better to keep them aside and reuse them while we fix the new keyboard So now we have access to the aluminum sheet of the housing which is the structural part of the housing. There are fixed onto the shell with the rivets. Now I am using a soldering iron to melt off those rivets. Those are plastic rivets. So you have no option of screws here. So take your soldering iron and start removing all the rivets or melt the melt all the rivets that way you will be able to remove the aluminum sheet from the housing so now i am finally able to remove the aluminum sheet from the laptop housing so now we have been greeted with the 
LED backlight of the keyboard. This black sheet has to be removed. To remove this, you should just simply pry it from the corner and gently remove it so that you don't break anything within the LED backlight. These are these are held onto the keyboard with the glue. So just remove it slowly. It will come off. So after removing the LED backlight, now we have finally access to the keyboard. To remove this keyboard, there are some rivets holding on holding on to the keyboard. So you have to melt those off, then you will be able to remove the keyboard from the housing. As you can see, I was able to remove the keyboard from the housing. Now we are, now we have the new keyboard. So now we'll be installing this back onto the housing, which is a very hard process because we don't have any screws to attach this keyboard onto the housing. So to do that, we have to make some other arrangements. Here I am using a fast glue to attach the keyboard onto the shell. This way it will guarantee the it will guarantee that the keyboard stays onto the shell. This is the first part of making sure that the keyboard sits perfectly onto the shell. Make sure that you use a very small quantity of the glue so that it doesn't spread when you put back the keyboard onto the shell. This will cause the keyboard to not work so be careful during this process. So I am using a very small needle to place the glue onto the keyboard. So now I am placing back the LED backlight onto the keyboard. There is no need to use extra glue onto it. There is enough glue on the LED backlight. So using that glue is enough. So now the important part as this aluminum sheet is the structural part of the shell or the housing of the laptop so we should make sure that this element sheet is properly attached onto the housing of the laptop so you can also use the already melted off rivets to attach the aluminum sheet onto the housing there are there will be some rivets that are usable so you can use those uh, rivets by melting off the rivets after attaching the aluminum sheet then after doing all that then you can use some glue to attach the element sheet onto the housing those are some methods you can make sure that your housing stays put onto the aluminum sheet This is going to be a tedious process but uh, if you get this uh, part done right uh, then there is no worries. Uh. So 
so then after that i place the plastic sheets back onto the aluminum sheet after this the replacing part of keyboard is over now we just do the reverse of opening the laptop Once you are done attaching the battery onto the motherboard, now you have to make sure that the laptop works. So try turning on the laptop before closing the housing or back panel. So as you can see the laptop is turning on that means uh, the process of uh, was uh, done successfully we have not damaged any part uh, of the motherboard or anything uh, now i'll be checking the whether the keyboard works uh, as you can see keyboard works fine now So that's it. Now we can close the back panel of the laptop. Then I'll be doing some final checks. So now I will be testing the laptop to make sure that all the keys of the laptop to make sure that all the keys of the keyboard works. After that replacing of your keyboard is done and it's been done successfully. So that's it. The repair of the keyboard is done. Now it functions properly. So if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you found this video helpful please like the video and subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you